When you generate a package, the initial uh, build of the package only includes the actual individual elements you see here. So if I go to show detail here, it will show you an entry for each one of the detail lines here. And we can see that if we come down here, hit the right button and go to the package and do say current Excel revision here. And here's revision two here. Now you can see you get the cover sheet and here's part production just with the listings of the items that you see. If you see the same items that are occurring over here on the part production using leader press parts, you can see it appearing here. Remove two moldy parts in the side right here. But what you want, might want to do is you're obviously going to want to flush out your work instructions. You can see an example of that that I've done over here. And all I've done here, I copied uh, line two down and I've added very typical things you would add with when you did a uh, package. Part numbers, arrows, icons, notes, pictures, this type of things. And you can also get the video link here. You can double click here, it'll play back the video for this particular operation as well. You can grab snapshots from this as well. And that's a very useful function. So let's look at that again. We're going to double click on the video and it's going to play it and it'll bring it up. And maybe we want to grab a picture of the guy just uh, closing it here. So what we can do is we can pause it at any time. We play the video. We can pause it. And then we can just grab a snapshot. Click on the snapshot button here. Close out of here. Come back over here. We can find a place where we want to put it. We can paste it in here. Now notice when we paste the information in any of the snapshots from Timer Pro. I actually have Timer Pro Professional labeled on here. So you can shrink this down to fit your uh, your particular needs here. So you want to make sure it fits in our area here. So we'll just drag it across. So now we've just added another picture to our uh, to the documentation we put together for this here. Right, so you can leave it here. Now, when you're working with the uh, actual package themselves, you can insert as many rows as required be between activities. You want to make sure that all of the work content is preserved within those rows that you've created for the space here. If you're dealing with the last element in the sequence, as I am doing here, do not leave any more than 10 blank rows between the, uh, the the activity description and the start of your content. Of course, you wouldn't normally do that anyway, uh, because if there's 10 blank rows, it will assume it's the end of the process and will not include anything after that here. So you can see all the work, the work content I've put in here. And that work content is going to be moved around automatically as we move items around in your process here. And this is a big plus in Timer Pro. It's going to take care of all this movement for you. So you'll see that in the videos coming up here. So the main thing to remember is that you can add additional documentation as you wish to any of the steps in your process to complement the material that's going to go to the floor for you.